Hi, McKenna. Thank you so much for joining us for our new series, Hashtag Woman Your Power. It is such an honor to have you um, on board. Thank you for inviting me. It's great to, to put a face um, to the post. I see you regularly on LinkedIn, so I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you today. It's a pleasure. I'm actually just going to jump right into um, asking you the questions. And the first question for today is, what do you consider power to be as a woman? As a woman, power is showing up in your feminine energy. It's um, not feeling as if when you're in a boardroom meeting or meeting clients, or even if you're in a male dominated industry, having to be strong or aggressive or have male tendencies. Uh, a great example of that is Oprah Winfrey. She sort of shows up every day in yellow and pinks and green, rich greens, and she's just being feminine and herself. And I think um, if we can follow down her footsteps uh, in our own way with our own creativity, we can shine and be feminine and be completely strong in any area or industry that we're in right now. I love it. The softness um, of what a woman is, the femininity, really not trying to chase what a man is or what, what, what men consider power to be. And how are you realizing that power in your own world, whether that's um, in your businesses, with your friends, your family, but in general, on your side of the world, in Makeda's world, how are you realizing that power? I would have to say, um, because it's visible and anybody can see it after this chat, is uh, showing up on social media wearing pinks and greens, uh, being completely feminine, uh, having going lives, uh, doing Instagram lives every day and speaking to men and women and being soft in my tone, uh, being nurturing and using emotional intelligence uh, for people that have maybe been in business for five years and they don't know how to do Instagram and just having that patience without being unkind or being um, arrogant, so to say, because they've maybe been in long, uh, business longer than I have. Just really being kind, showing myself uh, to different people and being there for them each day at a time uh, for every con piece of content that I share on the social media. And that is actually absolutely true. I follow you across all social media. We met on LinkedIn, but I also follow you on Instagram. And you do that. Um, you are, you know, you bring your presence and you bring that femininity, but also just that softness that you were mentioning and also the confidence in every single video that you put out there. So what I want to now know from you is you're realizing that power in your own world. And is that also then how you're sharing it through your videos, through your work? Absolutely. Um, I tried, uh, I'll give you an example. The other day I had a post and it said for women only and I put about four to five points as to how women can shine, be themselves. And I explained that you don't have to show up in expensive clothing and makeup and your hair looks perfect. Customers don't buy from pretty people. You can show up with your hair frizzy, your hair in a bun with a little bit of flour on your face right before you go into a Zoom meeting and because that makes you look relatable and that's who you are on your good and your worst days. And then I had another post for men only. And I expressed to men that being vulnerable is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. And that's how in 2020 and beyond, you can connect with men and women across the board. So I try to be mindful that I have uh, more women, but male uh, followers. And I try to just create different messaging for each platform. I love that, Makeda. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate having you um, today and woman you are power well, thank you for having me i appreciate it